seven weeks out to uh, Arnold Classic 2017. Then uh, this is my uh, LA, Los Angeles home. Well, it's, it's much, much smaller than compared to uh, one in Las Vegas, but this is where I started. This is all, you know, where it all started. I, when I came here, uh, I mean, I came to uh, California, which was 2006. I moved to here 2006, and I was in Orange County for a while uh, to train uh, uh, middle shaship. Then, uh, actually, I moved to Venice, this area, 2009. Uh, I moved couple couple places, but this is uh, where I moved. I think 2010. So since then, I. I you know, I keep this apartment and uh, I train in Venice, so uh, I've been here seven years. So, this small place, and uh, but you know, about uh, if you know about Los Angeles real estate, it's, it's not cheap, it's close to airport, close to beach, it's very convenient. So, uh, it's not cheap, but you know, I, I love this place and uh, I love this area. So. I just done cardio, fasted cardio. Now uh, time to prepare my meal one, which is uh, eggs and uh, oatmeal. So uh, I will show you how I do it. I'm gonna crack a whole bunch of eggs, 300 gram, probably like 10. It depends on how big uh, eggs are. So the first one, actually I eat one whole egg, one yolk. So first one is whole egg. Then after that, I just uh, separate uh, the white and uh, yolk like this. So I'm, you know, of course, that uh, you gotta uh, put everything on scale. And you know exactly what you are eating. Again, it's 300 gram total. So uh, like this. I actually uh, like to cook, so I don't mind to you know crack all these eggs. You know, it's it's convenient if you have wicked, but I don't mind doing all this. This is pretty. These are big egg, eggs, or so uh, not even ten. It's already two twenty gram. I I use gram, you know. So, uh, one more. Okay. All right. So, okay, 300, 301 gram, that's 300 gram. It's good. I did good today. Okay, so eggs are ready. Then now I prepare, I like omelets, you know, like doing pan because it doesn't stick so this is a little one for i actually cook my oatmeal oatmeal there are two kind like uh, quick and uh, old school i actually like old school to cook uh i have no particular reason but i just like it you know so you gotta measure oatmeal too Me 120 gram right now. So okay, too too much. 120. So exactly 120. I want exact. Okay, this and this. That was. Yeah. Put pour water. I'm doing this all the time, so I know exactly how much water I need, just one, you know. I just keep this for something else. <laughs> then, uh, put some salt. I, I actually measure my salt too. So, half tea, uh, table, uh, teaspoon? Is this teaspoon? Like for quarter, so I just 
did two. So I do, I put the half uh, teaspoon, right? Salt. So this, okay. Then I'm gonna. You can of course just you know uh, pour eggs on a pan, but I want to use some. Onion and uh, mushroom. Like this, so it's gonna taste a little bit better. I mean, uh, this tastes really good. And just even just eggs, but I, I like it like this way. Banana, I have a uh, uh, by the way, this is our uh, nutrition all from Patrick, my my nutrition coach. So banana, one banana. 120 gram oatmeal, 300 gram uh, egg white, one yolk. That's uh, that's what I eat seven weeks out right now. So as you can see, I'm eating uh, still a bunch of uh, carbs, so bananas and 100 gram oatmeal, pretty pretty big meal. But I'm coming down actually quick. So. Uh, uh, my physique conditioning is, I think I had of schedule, so I feel good. Of course, if you eat enough carbs, I mean not not really enough, but you know enough to train and uh, you know uh, train good and uh, you know you have, uh, enough energy to moving around, which is really good. So uh, I've been you know trying. I've been trying so many kind of exercise, I mean uh, diet, like low carb, high fat, uh, high protein, but to me I found out uh, uh, moderate carbs, moderate protein, you know, less fat, that works really good for me. The reason why I think uh, I grew up with lots of rice, lots of carbs, and uh, less protein, that's how I ate when I was little, when I was in Japan, so uh, you know, that's how, I don't know how digest system or I don't know, if I go up so so much protein, high high protein, I don't, I get, uh, you know, tend to be like uh, sluggish, tired, but when I have uh, carbs, it doesn't happen to me, you know, a lot of people have high carbs, they get sluggish, but not me. So obviously everybody's different, and uh, you need to find out what works for you. So... Nice, so oatmeal, it's gonna take more time, a little bit more. So this is what I do in the morning. Then I eat six meals, uh, five more meals. Then uh, after that I eat uh, rice. The rice is ready in a rice cooker. Then chick protein is chicken and fish. Uh, fish is tilapia. So chicken, rice, chicken, fish, all alternate, four more meals. Then last meal will be uh, egg white and uh, no carbs so uh, five more meals come in so it's a lot of meal I mean uh, to me it, it's it's not enough I am I'm always hungry but for some people it's a lot of food okay so this This in all, okay. then oatmeal. So it's like this. Just you know, sit here for a while. So it's gonna. Like this. It's little runny. I mean, uh, lots of water, but I like that way. You know, some people like dry. You know. So, so this is a. Uh, the rice, you know, I'm gonna eat whole day. Then uh, I just uh, uh, how you call it, like 
you know, four more times with rice. So just, you know, the separate, <laughs> I don't know how you say it in English, but four times, right? Then I cook, I measure it before cook actually, because after cook, you, it depends on how much water you put, it, it change, the weight is gonna change. So it's not really accurate if you uh, measure after cook, you know, rice or oatmeal too, you know? So it depends on how, how much water, then uh, weight is gonna change, so. I just did, uh, uh, last night I measure rice, 400 gram. So like divide, you know, four, divide four, like right? 100 gram each, each meal. So it's gonna go down later. I like, you know, lani, so I'm not gonna make it too dry. So I'm gonna go off and just sit here for a while. See, this is a lot of food because you know, I put a lot of water so you can be full and uh, satisfied. I usually train around 10 in the morning. So this is this meal. I eat this meal then uh, at least like two hours I just rest and uh, I digest. Actually, I don't like to eat right before training. Some people do, but I right, can't do it. So I just have to have at least two hours after a meal before training. So egg is ready. Like this, you know, little lani. So I put this on uh, oatmeal. Like this. Okay. Good. Banana. So this is my meal one. Okay, so sit down and uh, time to enjoy my meal. So I, I already put the, uh, you know, half a teaspoon of salt. So uh, has uh, enough taste. And I want to know exactly uh, how much salt I'm, I'm taking right now so I don't use any other uh, any other how you say <laughs> make things to make taste uh, so this you know salt actually I have uh, actually a half a teaspoon of salt it means uh, one gram of uh, sodium in it. So, this is one gram salt. Then I eat six meals, so which means six gram of salt, sodium, every day. So you can easily modify, you know, adjust your, your sodium intake, which is uh, actually very important. If you have actually, uh, if you have less sodium, uh, people are afraid of taking sodium salt, but it's very important mineral to uh, actually make uh, muscle contraction. So if you don't have sodium, you can you can train well. You know? So you gotta have sodium. Then uh, it actually makes you make keeps you full with water. So make sure you have enough fluid, which is uh, one gram salt, you need one liter of water. So if, if you, I take six gram salt a day, I need to consume six liter of water, which is around two, little less two gallon, but I, I sh I'm shooting two gallon a day. So you gotta measure your water too.